Hi guys, welcome back to the Pride of Villa. Today I'm going to be talking about Newcastle uh, from last night. We started the game at 8. 2-0 um, win, good win to be honest. Um, but there was just a few things I wanted to say about it. So starting off, um, I feel like there could have been a few more goals. I feel like we could have really took the piss and scored around 5, like no joke. Um, I feel like Ollie Watkins deserved a few penalties here and there. I'm basically just going to echo what Dean said, basically, because everything Dean said in his interview was 100% right. It's, you know, he, him sitting in the crowd, um, you know, obviously because he had a red card, he had more of a, a vision of everything. And I think, you know, everything that he saw, we were seeing, like, obviously, when you're, um, you know, you're right next to the players and like, you don't always see everything, but when you're like watching it from the TV, um, we see some things that obviously Dean doesn't see because obviously he's right next to him. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 everything he said, I'm basically about to say. Um, but yeah, I feel like we could have had a few penalties, like two of them. Um, the referee, honestly, was not too bad to be honest, but you know, there was a few things he didn't pick up on. Um, Newcastle weren't really a threat to be honest at all. I feel like I think they only had like, one shot on target. So obviously Martinez had a real quiet game. But saying that Martinez, how did oh, I'm sorry, but he's just amazing. Like if you watch back to his passes, very very accurate. And we're not talking about you know him to Mings, him to Conza. We're talking about him all the way to like players like Watkins. Like you don't see that. Um, you know, your goalkeeper having a, a really accurate pass to your your forward, and you know, it's just, it's, you know, it's just amazing. Like, it's really mental that we only just scored two goals. So really, we did Newcastle a bit of a favour, not making it up four or five. Could have been four or five, but I feel like it should have been three goals to be honest, at least. But um, you know, there was a. I, I want to talk about Steve Bruce as well, because obviously he is my former manager. Um, I don't feel like he deserves all the blame for this, so just hear me out. Um, the board, obviously, Mike Ashley, it's just, he ain't, he's not going to sack him. And I don't feel like, I don't know, it's just a it's really weird position, really. Obviously, we've been there before. Sheffield United sort of been there, but they want to keep Wilder. But with Bruce and Newcastle, um, you can clearly see that the players have given up, and it's just not Bruce's. He's, he has got a, he's out of fault for some of the things happening, but you know when your players are being you know some of them are around fifty million, some of them are like thirty million, they should be playing like decent players, but they just they can't be asked. Obviously, Sam Maximum, don't think he should have come on. To be honest, he just did not look right. Um, I saw one of their other players. He seemed to have looked like he lost a bit of breath, and I'm not too sure if he ha he has any like. It was any connection with the COVID situation, so I'm not too sure if he actually had it or something. I saw Target was coming around at the end, you know, like just fist bumping everyone, and he saw him and I think he missed him out. So yeah, he did see. He did. I don't know. I forgot who what player it was, but he did seem like he was a bit ill. He just lost breath, and I've never actually seen that like this season. So hopefully nothing is going bad with him. Um, but more on the game though. The second half was definitely sloppy from us, and I think you know you can give it to the players. Obviously, we've got a lot of fixtures, and it's a, a really bad congestion at the moment. Obviously, we are playing on Wednesday, so we've only got around three good days training. Um, but yeah, it's just, they're playing sloppy. The second half, we're two 0 up. I'm gonna let that go because obviously, you know, we don't want them to overwork themselves. So obviously, we've got Burnley next, and we've got Southampton. You know, it's just not fair at the moment. But we can get this done. Um, you know, out of these three games, obviously Newcastle, Burnley, and Southampton, I feel like the most we could get is seven points. I feel like we should really be going for a win at Southampton, but I think a draw is likely unfair. Uh, the way they're playing, the way we're playing, I feel like you know we're sort of in the same place as in Southampton. Um, we're definitely both going for Europa at the minute, but uh, more on the Newcastle game. I don't really know what's going to happen with Newcastle. Uh, it's just, it's just sad because obviously we've been there with Bruce before, but in this situation, it's not all Bruce's fault. It's just it is the players as well. I'm not going to say it's Callum Wilson or um, Amiron, I think his name is, or Darlow in golf for that matter, but. Um, 
you know, suing Astley Gear because obviously I believe because I Mike Ashley won't sack Bruce, but I do believe if they do enter this the relegation um, sector of his of the table, like you know, Fulham go over him. I do feel like Bruce will get sacked, and who would they have in? I think. You know, I don't think they will have him, but I do feel Eddie Howe would definitely match him quite fine, to be honest. But I don't think Eddie Howe wants to be a manager right now, like you see why, but um, I think he, he does actually suit um, Newcastle. But uh, coming to the end of the video, I feel like it should have been at least 3 0. Really good performance from the boys, first half. Ollie Watkins gained his goal, uh, obviously giving him a bit of confidence, but obviously, his second one was just disallowed because he was offside. Obviously, no VAR situation getting in there, so that's really good. Uh, another positive is Grealish really wanted that guy in. Obviously, got took off for I'm not, I think he was Ramsey. I'm not too sure, but it's really nice to see Grealish like you know like moaning a bit because obviously he wants to stand for that guy. And that's just what you want from your players. You want them to stand. Um, you want them to be like hungry for that goal, and that's all. Really, like, I, I respect that from Grealish. Um, man of the match for me. You're not going to believe it. You are not going to believe it. But I'm going with Target. The next, last few games, Target has definitely upped his game. And you know what I mean. I'm going to give credit where it's due. He had a really good game. He had a really good game against, uh, who was it, Man City. And I feel like he really shined in this one. He had a really good challenge against one of their forwards. Or I think it was a winger. But yeah, it should, should we get a left back still? I think it all depends if Neil Taylor leaves, I'm not too sure, but I'll leave it out for now. I think, I think Target's definitely upped his game a bit, and um, you know he was actually going for a goal as well, which I really liked. And yeah, I just, I'm going to give credit when it's due, so yeah, Target man of the match, uh, following Martinez, and obviously Bertrand Trowell with that amazing goal at the end. So I hope you like the video guys, and I just want to end off actually. Um, there will be a bit more content. Obviously, we haven't been doing any predictions. Obviously, we haven't really been playing much. Um, I'm self-isolating at the moment. You know what I mean? It's just it, it ha it's going to happen to all of us, I think. And, yeah, it's just a, a few more videos probably this week come out from me. And, yeah, it's just I've got more time now. Just staying inside, doing absolutely fuck all. So, that's the video, guys. Up the villa. We'll pry the villa. We'll see you next time.